You want to know how to stay motivated? Keep your eyes on the prize and take the bricks that people throw at you and make a monument out of it. Knowing how to stay motivated will be one of the most important things, one of the most important keys on your road to success. Now, when I said keep your eyes on the prize, I'll touch on that in a second. But I want to be very clear with you on one thing. You have to know how to train your brain to be able to deal with the negativity that's in the world. See, for a lot of you, you know, you kind of want to play this game like you want to pretend like there's no negativity in the world. But you have to know how to use that at a, as a resource to your advantage. So take the bricks that people will throw at you and use it to build a monument. Use it to build a building, a castle, whatever you want to call it, that stands taller than they can ever be and build that monument right in their face. See, I want to share something with you. I've gone my entire life being doubted, criticized, laughed at, rejected. And you have to know how to use that as motivation. Because if you don't know how to use that as motivation, it will always keep you down. Some of you will say, well, Urban Money, how do I get ahead? I'm always feeling like life is telling me I can't make it. Urban Money, how do I stay focused? I'm always feeling like I'm getting rejected. You have to train your mind to take that rejection and look at it as a plus. If something is too easy in life, that means that everybody is doing it. The harder it is, the more you're rejected, the harder it will be for you to conquer and achieve this goal, the more and more and more that should motivate you. Because guess what? The harder it is, that means there's the less amount of people that's doing it. Take the hard and use it as motivation. Trust me, it's not just gonna be people that are gonna throw you blows. Life itself will deal you a blow. Imagine if you were one of the people that was living in the location of Hurricane Katrina. Wouldn't that leave you so discouraged that you wouldn't want to do anything else with your life? You're watching your house, your family, everything that you knew that you grew up on all blown away. You got to take those situations and it has to motivate you to keep going. Otherwise, what's going to happen? You're going to allow these situations. You're going to allow life to deal a blow at you. And you don't even understand that you can be stronger than all of the hate. You can be stronger than all of the tribulations. God is not going to give you a tribulation that you cannot handle. When life deals you blows and when people deal you blows, you have to know how to take that and run with it. Guess what? Whenever people tell me that I can't do something, you know what I do? It gets me more focused. It gets me more energized. It gets me more driven to be able to prove them wrong. And that's what you have to be able to do. Here's the reason why this is so important. You're always going to find fuel in negative energy from people around the world. I'm going to tell you this. Whenever you want to do something that's going to make you stand out from the crowd, people will doubt you. People will criticize you. People will work hard to try to convince you that what you're doing is stupid because they want to do it themselves. They don't want to see you do it before them. They don't want you to stand over them. So what people will always do is they will try to discourage you. Think about this in your life right now. Has there ever been a time while you've been alive that you've ever gone through life years on end where you did not have someone try their best to discourage you? Now, has there been times in your life where you were like, man, everybody was just in my corner. Everybody just wanted to see me win. Everybody was just cheering me on and rooting for me. See that? That type of energy is a little bit more rare. And so that's why if you're just relying on that type of energy to push you forward, it's going to be harder for you to succeed because you're not going to have that type of energy in high demand. 
Yes, support is good for you. Yes, people rooting you on is good for you. Yes, you need all of the, you know, the fans and all of that, that great stuff. But here's one thing that you have to keep in mind. In this world, when you feel like sometimes your back is against the wall, or maybe sometimes you feel like it's you against the world, you have to know how to take those resources that's already in high volume and you have to convert that energy into your motivation. See, what I'm trying to tell you is something that 50 Cent said exactly that's always stuck with me. He said, when it comes to haters, he says, I need you to hate. So that way I can use you for your energy. And that's what you have to be able to do. Again, there's so many people that will tell you all the time, oh, just think positive, just think positive, just think positive. Let me ask you a question. When David conquered Goliath, do you think David was just, oh, this free, positive thinking spirit? Or did he use the opposition from Goliath against him to defeat his enemy? Think about that. Would we have known the greatness that David had in him, had he not had a doubter, had he not had a hater, had he not had someone who was willing to stand before him and throw a brick in his face, would he not have been as great as we know him to be? What about Michael Jordan? Do you think that Michael Jordan would have been Michael Jordan if he would have not had the Detroit Pistons throw bricks in his face every single year. They said that Michael Jordan got so tired of losing to the Detroit Pistons before he had won a championship that when he left the court, he was angry with tears in his eyes. You got to realize that sometimes in order for you to play at your top level, it's got to be some pain involved. It's got to be the bricks that people throw at you. When Henry Ford was asked where his mind was when it came to him building vehicles, he said, if I would have listened to the world that was around me, he said, I would have built a faster horse carriage. See, think about the messages that was being sent to him as he was the bold one who was thinking, this is the innovation that I can do. Nobody else is doing it, but I believe in myself. I see the opportunity. I see the moment. I don't need anybody else to validate my beliefs. I know it will work and I will use your doubt and your criticism to motivate me to push that forward. See, all of the greats, when you think about it, they were all great because they all knew how to stand against resistance that was monumental. And if you are going to be great, you will be no different. You have to know how to go against the grain because the grain will always be there. If you want to be able to push your boat further, if you want to be, if you have a sailboat and you want to know how to go in the right direction, you got to know how to use the wind. Focus on what I just told you right there. You will not be able to push yourself forward without the win. It's up to you. It's up to you to decide what you're going to do with that win and if you turn it in the right direction. Now, like I was saying, last but not least, you have to know how to be able to keep your eyes on the prize. See, a lot of times when people come into your life, right? And I'm not just talking about, you know, one or two people. I'm saying that life is going to present situations where you're going to find yourself in new environments, new circumstances, new challenges. And what you have to be able to do is keep your eye on the prize. Because guess what? Everybody and everything in life is competing for your attention. Everybody has an agenda or an idea in their mind on the person that you're supposed to be. Maybe this is different from what you envision, but if you let other people dictate to you the type of person that you should be, you're always going to serve your life being your best version of them. You're not gonna be the best version of yourself. 
you are going to make a lifestyle out of being the best people pleaser that I can be. And again, like I said, the greatest people on the face of the earth, they weren't concerned with being people pleasers because they were chasing a vision that was in their own eyes, right? When Steve Jobs created the iPhone, he was laughed at by people that was thinking that he could take all of these different elements and put it into a phone. People thought he was crazy, but guess what? You would never be able to use an iPhone now if every time somebody had a differing opinion, every time somebody had a different viewpoint, Every time somebody wanted him to go in a di different direction, he just moved where the wind blows. He was like, all right, I'll do what you say, and I'll do what you say, and I'll do what you say, and I'll do what you say. See, you got to know when to stand firmly on your own visions and your own goals. You have to know how to be able to have a foundation about yourself that says, this is what I believe in, this is my goal, and nothing will stop me. Nothing will get in my way because one of the main reasons why a lot of us right now don't know how to stay motivated is because we don't stick with any one thing long enough to be able to see it done from end to end. See, how many times have you found yourself in a situation where you start on one thing, then you quit midway, and then you want to do something else, and then you want to do something else, and then you want to do something else? Stick to one thing. Watch it play out. Don't let other people get in your way. Let me tell you something very powerful. When I was working in corporate America, one of my friends that was my coworker at the time said, you're trying to pay off your student loan debt and you have this much amount and you're trying to take all of your money and pay it off? That sounds stupid. And this person said it. I'll never forget it. It was during a lunch break and we were in a room with a whole group of people, right? Whole team of coworkers. And, you know, I was the only one that was that serious about paying off my student loans. Everybody else was taking their money and, you know, going to lunch at fancy places, going on these plush vacations, you know, buying all of this fancy stuff from all of these stores. And if I would have let that person convince me in my mind that what I was doing was stupid, you wouldn't know me right now. I want you to ponder that. If that one moment and that one occasion would have taken me off my prize to such an extent that I didn't move forward on my own goals and ambitions, guess what would happen? I would have never been able to leave corporate America. I would have stayed stuck in debt. I wouldn't have been able to buy my own real estate. I would not be the man that I am today. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about, you know, whenever people try to pull you in all of these different directions, how has that changed the journey of your life primarily in a negative way? That's what I want you to leave me uh, in a comment. Leave me a comment and tell me about a time where you have allowed somebody to be able to take your eye off the prize and how that set you back in your life. Maybe by six months, maybe by six years. Leave me a comment below and let me know how this has impacted you. If you wanna know how to stay motivated, you have to always take the bricks that people throw in your face and use it to build a monument because there will always be people in life, no matter how much you try to avoid it, there will always be people in situations that will try to deal you a hard blow. And you have to know how to take those resources and be able to use them productively. You have to know how to be able to take the things that happen in this world, be it good or bad, and use it to your benefit. Haters, use them to your benefit. Supporters, use them to your benefit. People that are in the neutral zone, Use them to your benefit and do things that are so great they have no choice but to acknowledge you for your greatness. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide how you are going to use this life to determine how to stay motivated. But if you want to be motivated and keep going every single day, you got to use every tool at your disposal. Use the people use the situations, 
use your dreams, and ultimately you will get to where you need to be. One brick every single day. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check me out on Snapchat at The Urban Money. Let's change the world.